What's up, y'all? It's your boy at the Aftermath, man. Teron Beckham, you already know what it is. Today we're gonna work on some accessory work with the deadlift and the bench. What I mean by deadlift and the bench, accessory work, we'll be doing the deadlift from a higher pull and then we'll be doing the bench uh, with pause reps, all right? So we're working on that starting strength explosiveness, working on my weak points in the deadlift, which is right around the knee level. So having it at the higher point, you know, it allows me to put more power into what I'm doing without having to stress about being so low and that hip flexibility as well. So uh, that being said, I can uh, today should be uh, an explosive, heavy as fuck day and just getting after it. So let's get to it. The wheels are 45, just for anybody trying to uh, understand the weight. So same thing, so I got 225 on the bar right now. Like I said, it's higher off the ground. You see how many inches I have more compared to the normal weight right there. So me having to, um, I don't have to bend down as much. A lot of times you see I have a lot of, uh, my, my, my legs are straight a lot of times when I deadlift. So it's like I'm doing a straight leg deadlift. Um, I have a slight bend in my knees when I deadlift, but um, that flexibility I have to work on to better my deadlift. So I do, I, need, I do need to do more mobility work for my hips to open up, to get down more so I can exert more power in my deadlift. But at this time, um, I've just been focusing a lot on glute lower back strength and hamstring strength to just kind of pull me through for the time being. And you know what's funny, like my deadlift, grip and my bench grip are the exact same. I do thumbs lean from the solid to the uh, neural, knurling. Clothing, man. Make sure you grab our new gear. We got this, the t-shirt. Uh, these pants aren't new, but still some of my favorite pants right here. Shorts, very comfortable in all weather conditions. Actually, they might be a little hot for the hotness. But they're like, they're like good jogging pants. And good workout pants as well. Shorts. So, use code Aftermath, 15% off. You already know what the game is, man. Alpha clothing, the best there is. Point blank, been with them for what, four years? I'm with them about four years now. All right? Loyalty. Hey. So this time I'm gonna to try to pull up, pause, and then rip. I'll never promote slingshot, but 
You can get lifting gear from Slingshot. Got my super heavy duty straps right here. To get off my, uh, this is where I get all of my lifting equipment, hip circles, straps. I do got some wrist wraps that I never use. Well, I have used, but I don't ever use them. So, they're pretty good. When I, when I use wrist wraps, I always make sure that whatever, this is coming on the side of the pinky. Boom. Pinky side. Always pinky side. That was fairly easy. This should go up. Probably go up to 800. Respect the weight, respect the weight. <laughs> I would like to be stronger than I look. Uh, they were like Dan Bolzerian. Huh? No bench today. I want to switch bench out. No bench today. We're going to do heavy dips instead. Chest is starting to feel a little better. So I'm not gonna rush to go back in the bench, but I do feel a little bit more comfortable doing some dips. So that's why we're gonna focus on this. Really try to kill it with weight on this for a couple reps, around like uh, five to eight. And uh, focus on about four to five sets of that.
<laughs> Feeling like four with this shit plan. Sunday workout. Probably do some conditioning later tonight. I'm gonna go eat right now. And then uh probably catch you guys on one of my streams. So I'm streaming on YouTube today, so you're already on the YouTube channel. So let's go. Big uh, big Maz sticks. We come here almost every Sunday almost every Sunday. And we get these, we got some bulgogi, bao buns, whatever. And then big shrimp daddies, I don't know. And then we get like some chicken donuts and shit like that. Whatever it is, it's a fucking good spot. You should definitely come through and try it out. Uh, can I get three orders? Three Mozzarella orders? sticks, yeah. yeah. You like them? I'm getting three beef bulgogi mandus. They are, bro, these shits right here. These shits right here, bro. We literally just come here every for the mozzarella sticks and this, and then whatever else is just extra. Same shit. On all these vendors, the same ones. We ain't even experienced about even, not even half of them. Uh, I need, you want all bulgogi, I'm guessing? All right, we need four orders of three bulgogi, three bulgogi, three bulgogi, three bulgogi. Okay, so let's get <laughs> Huh? Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was here last week. To hear my surprise, I got a do-rag on. <laughs> Terrell, you got a do-rag on? What? I used to wear a do-rag every day. Every single day. I would shower with a do-rag. Sleep. I would definitely, I would shower with my do-rag. What would you do? I would shower with my do rag. And then? And then I would sleep. sleep. Brush your hair with the do rag. That's how you get waves. Leave it on 24 7. I sweat in it. So the do rag is accumulating all the sweat and hair stuff. And it's just making them waves even deeper. Facts. Equilibrium. I'll just remember Tay Diggs. Batman. Alright. Wow! I just realized that's Batman. Bruh. Wow. I never I didn't even put two and two together. I'm like, yo, who do I know this guy for? Wow. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Yeah.